Hey guys, how's it going? Um, don't worry, you're still getting the showcase video today. I just wanted to uh, show you guys something else, a little something extra. As you know, it's the spooky season since I'm not doing anything spooky on the channel itself. I thought I'd show you what spooky things I'm doing in real life. Such as this. This is a giant display I put together for Halloween this year for my room. By the way, it took literally five hours. So I thought today I'd give you guys a little uh, tour of decor to be uh, to be said. So let's go ahead. We'll start. We'll we'll start with we'll start with the kid friendly side. So we have some skeletons up here, some pumpkins, a LED jack o' lantern of Jack Skellington. I got that last year. Fedora, Gothic. Ding, 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 ding. Which one I'm doing a video? One sec. Gothic, Cable, some comics, Monster Party, VHS tapes are Zombie Island, Cyber Chase, and Monsters Inc. Down here, kid friendly stuff. Scooby Doo plug, uh, plug and play right there. Giant glass ghost behind it. Knife. And then we start to get a little bit more gruesome as we go to the metal because we have a half bloodied skull right here. Normal pumpkin. A whole lot of bucks. A lot of goosebumps to be more specific. Freddy scarf. Teddy Wise figure, Shining Room Key, with, that's the actual box for that figure, I thought it looked cooler outside of the box. I put Par 5 of Dragon Ball Super up there, because for those of you that have seen the Goku Black arc, you know that belongs there. Darksiders 2 Game Informer, when the game was first coming out, which was, feels like decades ago. Uh, very uh, cheapo, bargain bin, glow-in-the-dark Jason mask. I painted the Ice Nine Kills logo on there. A little blood there to show the axe mark. Some games here. Oh, there's Alien on VHS. I kind of just threw it in there because it's the only VHS tape I have that is in that horror genre. And then we get to the really gruesome stuff, like this zombie right here, this Mega Bloks zombie. He's crawling away, or trying to crawl away with a giant pool of blood where his legs were once were, because he got sliced in half. Bloody pumpkin, bloody skeleton, ghost rider motorcycle. I kind of just put that in there because I was out of space for everything else. Moving up here, there's City of Evil by Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, Alex from A Clockwork Orange. That's the mystery mini. And then my custom Lego figures of Michael and Jason with custom blood splatter. Um, some more blood splatter down here on the pumpkin and another skull. Here's a zombie with his arm backwards. Clue, and Simpsons Clues over there. And then a lot of movies over here. Like, just a lot. A lot of horror movies. Uh... Jason Plushy, that's actually my brother's, that belongs to my brother, but he's letting me use it for the display for this year. And then, to cap it off, uh, my DVD copy of Halloween 2018, and since Halloween Kills is coming out in, I believe, only a week or two, uh, I think it was more appropriate to put it right there on the top of the stack. But there are a lot of movies in here, guys. There's all the Blade movies, there's the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Hannibal Lecter. Uh, yeah, I only put that one there because I have the games up here, as you can see. Right there. Yeah, that's uh, oh, also a bonus mask. I kind of just hung this here because I have nowhere else to put it. So I put it with the hat collection for now. But yeah, there is my bloody uh, trucker skull mask. Thing. And that is 
the whole display. Uh, thank you guys for watching this short video, and look forward to the, uh, video. Oh, wait, I almost forgot the, uh, Shining Room Key. I almost, oh, wait, did I already point that out? I don't even know. But anyway, that is the whole display. I tried to make a nice balance between, uh, hardcore horror over here and some kid-friendly stuff over here. I stuck the comics up there because there was nowhere else they were going to fit without falling down or covering up the rest of the display. So, they're sitting up in the window. Uh, Jack Skellington pumpkin, all that stuff, so. Yeah, oh, by the way, that's, that pumpkin and that ghost are both going to be lighting up at nighttime. I might make a separate video showing you guys that, along with probably some effects because I do have a fog machine. So... Yeah, that, that's the whole display. Uh, thank you guys for watching this short video. Uh, happy October, and hope you guys enjoy the rest of Brawltober. And let me know your thoughts on this display in the comments, or if you uh, think I'm missing something. Well, I'm probably missing a lot. I'm missing a lot of like the Universal movies and stuff like that. But yeah, that's, that's today's video. This is a short, sweet and to the point one. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little horror display tour. So happy October, and I'll see you guys later today for Brawltober Part 2. So until then, I'm Jack Small of Animation Station. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.